Welcome to an enlightening podcast from IslamPodcasts.com. We encourage our listeners to please comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please remind your family and friends to also visit IslamPodcasts.com for engaging discussions on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran, Tafsir, Sira, and much more. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أما بعد my dear respected brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته in last night's taraweeh our imam recited surah ahzab Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والقانتين والقانتات والقانتين والقانتات والصادقين والصادقات والصابرين والصابرات والخاشعين والخاشعين والخاشعات والمتصدقين والمتصدقات والصائمين والصائمات والصائمين والصائمات والحافظين فروجهم والحافظات والذاكرين والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات أعد الله لهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما صدق الله العظيم الله سبحانه وتعالى سيد Indeed, the Muslim men and women, the believing men and women, the obedient men and women, the truthful men and women, the patient men and women, the humble men and women, the charitable men and women, the fasting men and women, the men who guarded their private parts and the women who did so, and the men who remembered Allah often and the women who did so, for them Allah prepared forgiveness and a great reward. Today's battle between the two genders has led to a turmoil in society where society has witnessed the change of women's roles from a house slave to a sex slave. Feminism is the direct result of an imbalance which has only created a greater imbalance between the two genders. Societies across the globe have ignored the differences between men and women which resulted in a playoff between each other and a vicious competition of worthiness. It is of no surprise then to see movements like Me Too, Everyday Sexism, and the Centenary of Women's Suffrage. These are all symptoms of a male-dominated society, which views the woman through a lens of an inferior being, relegating the woman only to the whims and desires of man, leading to an ill and warped view of a woman. We understand from the verse previously recited that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses men and women equally. Islam understands the makeup of both men and women and hence regulates society accordingly. Not asking the woman to become like the man in any aspect of life or vice versa. Rather it brings about harmony between the two genders which in turn creates a tranquil society filled with love, mercy and compassion and hence society becomes distant from lust, desire and domination of one gender over the other. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the true system of justice which is Islam. Allahumma amin wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Podcasts on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran tafsir, and sirah are available at islampodcasts.com as well as on iTunes. Rate, review, and comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please subscribe, share, and tell a friend about islampodcasts.com.